What's up everybody? Slick Rick, F and Awesome Gaming, and today I got some UFC Undisputed 3 for you. Um, first off, I want to say I haven't played this game in close to a month, and if not, maybe a little more than a month, so um, you know, don't tell me how bad I suck in the comments, you know, that'd be kind of mean. <laughs> if you don't recognize the dude on the right, that is Slick Rick, that's me. I actually completed career mode. And uh, I think it's you can only fight 48 fights. So, uh, yeah, my dude is no longer allowed to fight in the UFC career mode. So I just fight with him on, uh, you know, a quick match, quick fight. First, I want to say um, I could not take Chell Sonnen down. I could not take him down. I think I went like 2 for 16 in takedowns. And then to counter that, I couldn't stop his takedowns. So keep an eye on that. It's a pretty good fight. But jumping right into things, first off, um, John Jones will not be fighting Dan Henderson uh, in the upcoming pay-per-view. Um, you've probably heard this, but I mean, I'm just gonna give you my my insight. I'm probably I want I want to know yours too, because I mean, this is pretty interesting. Um, Dan Henderson, if you haven't heard, he was injured. Uh, I think in training, something about his knee, I believe. If I'm not, correct me. First off, Dan Henderson is one of my all-time favorite fighters. I, mean, I just love the way he fights. Um, I, I don't know. Everything about him. I, I dig him. I really dig Dan Henderson. So, with that news, um, you know, as, as every other fight would happen uh, in pay-per-view matches, they, uh, you know, they want to replace the person who got hurt. And, um, you know, it was a title fight. So, you know, Dana White decided, you know what, Chell Sonnen deserves another fight. Uh, another chance at the title. We're gonna, you know, match him up. And John Jones actually decided that he just doesn't want to fight Chell Sonnen. You know, he's just not gonna happen. So Dana White, you know, I guess you know he tried to convince him or whatever, but he was unable to. So he actually had to cancel UFC 151, which is just crazy. Uh, he canceled a whole pay per view over, you know, the, the title fight, the main event, which you know. Without that main event, would people buy the title fight? Would they buy the pay-per-view? Probably not. I don't pay for uh, pay-per-view anyway, so I'm not hurting. But I mean, I really would have liked to see John Jones fight again, especially Chell Sonnen. I think it would have been a decent fight. I know it really sucks. I mean, I can see both sides. I can see why people are really, really upset. Um, you know, I'm pretty. I'm not upset, but I am disappointed. You know, I can see why people are upset though. You know, they're they're not gonna get to see. John Jones fight right now, and not to mention all the other all the other fights that were in there. Funny thing is, uh, ESPN was actually covering this, which is pretty shocking because they barely ever cover uh, they barely ever cover the UFC, and when they do, it's really just like really big fights, like the uh, Rashad Evans John Jones fight. I think they covered that. They barely ever cover anything, and they were they were like showing tweets. They like to show tweets from you know different um, celebrities and stuff or or athletes, and they showed I can't remember who the fighter was. But I'll try to find his tweet and I'll try to put it on the screen. Um, he actually told John Jones that you know he has to pay him. He needs to pay his rent this month because uh, the UFC event was gonna pay for his rent. And he's like, you know what? I need it by the first. And uh, you know, I, th I thought that was hilarious um, because I mean that's true. Like John Jones is sort of the reason why he's not gonna be able to pay his rent this month. Overall, though, I mean, really disappointing. I would have loved to see 151. But moving on to the next topic, this is all pretty old news. So if you've heard this, you know, just stick with me. THQ is no longer creating UFC games. Not because they decided, you know what, we're getting out of it. No. EA Sports, they bought the license to UFC uh, sports games so or uh, video games. So uh, Dana White cracked. I think at first he said EA Sports would never develop. Um, I'm not too sure. I could be just throwing this out of nowhere. But I heard that he said EA Sports would never develop a UFC game. But EA Sports got that money. They decided we're gonna buy the license, and I really, I'm really not happy with it. EA Sports has a track record of not being so great. 
I mean, some of their games, don't get me wrong, some of their games are really good, but some are just straight up terrible. Example, NBA Live, all right? I know I'm kind of going on a tangent, but NBA Live, not a good game, all right? Hasn't been good in a long time. I mean, are there good parts to the game? Sure, but, um, you know, Keith sent me some links on Facebook. Funny thing, <laughs> this is, like, really funny. Keith, um, this dude, I don't know if he sleeps or not because, I mean, I'll wake up, you know, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning, I wake up, you know, check Facebook, I have about five or six messages, it'll be like six links he sent me, he be like, bro, check this out, um, you know, new gameplay footage of, you know, whatever game, and here's a blog from the developers, blah, 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 and, uh, you know, it's awesome, you know, having him on the team, though, you know, he can, he finds these blogs, these links, you know, he links it to me, and I get all this information, but, I mean, he, he did link me to... I think it might have been an iPod King Carter video gameplay of Live 13. Looks terrible. I would really, really not want that for UFC. I played this game a lot. Haven't recently, but I played this game a lot. I got all kind of hours logged into this game. For for the most part, the game is really good, really well done. Commentary is great. Gameplay is really good. I mean, there's some spots in the game in the uh, gameplay that's you know a little off now and then, but not game breaking. I really don't want you, uh, the EA Sports to just ruin UFC for me. I know JG brought up a point. My man JG, he actually he played their EA Sports MMA game. I think that's the name of it. And he said, you know, he was a really good game. He really that he actually liked that more than he liked UFC Undisputed 3. So I mean, there's a little bit of hope there for me that they actually get it right. You know, I've played uh, Fight Night Champion. It was really good. It was a really good game. So. I don't know. I, I really, really hope that EA Sports, if they cannot at least match it, they do better. You know. So I don't know. What's your opinion on that? Um, do you still play UFC Undisputed 3? I really like this game. Really underrated game to me. I think. I mean, it's one of my favorites. And the funny thing is, like lately, I've just been playing all my old games. Um, I went back and I created a new my player on NBA 2K12. I started playing GTA. If you're on my friends list, you probably see me playing GTA a lot. I really, I thought I hated that game, but I, I like it. Uh, I bought it from JG, <laughs> and it's a, it's a pretty good game. But that's about it for me. I rambled on long enough. But I do want to say is this hurricane, you know, don't take it lightly. Um, I know I usually don't talk about this stuff, but I do live in Florida. And it looks like we're going to get hit by just the outside of it. I'm, I live in Tampa, or very close to Tampa anyway. And it looks like we're going to, you know, it's barely going to miss us. But the panhandle might get hit pretty hard. So all I'm saying is be safe. Uh, stay inside. But, you know, this has been Slick Rick, FN Awesome Gaming, and I'll catch you next time.